Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. We appear to be doing a trifecta uh, of Bond videos recently. We did the one on Lasagna Lynch. Uh, and then yesterday, of course, uh, we discussed the why James Bond shouldn't be a woman. Yeah, yeah, that's sort of coming up now again. Uh, but this one is uh, a little bit different and a little bit not, well, when I say odd, in so much as uh, this article was written six weeks ago, a month and a half ago, uh, but speculation has already begun on how much money No Time to Die has to make at the box office to, to break even. But these calculations uh, were being made a little bit ago. Now, one thing that the, the coup has brought uh, is massive increases to the budgets of movies and why is that well there's insurance on the actual video and there's also interest off the money that has been loaned to make these videos so something like black widow for example that's that's not made money and even shang chi which the mainstream media will have you know is not a flop it's this is a successful film uh, it's come out of the, the gates racing. Guys, this hasn't even made its money back yet. Now, I'm not saying that Shang-Chi isn't going to make its money back, but it, we're now three weekends into its release and they're heralding it again. It's the number one movie. There's no other movies out that's competing with it. Nothing new's come out. Uh, now, when this comes out, uh, sure. When Dune comes out, sure. Then we're going to have uh, Shang-Chi start to drop. But that's just gross $322 million worldwide. And it's likely that, I mean, if you factor in uh, everything with Shang-Chi, th th it probably has to make around 450 to 500 to break even. So uh, it might do. It might do. But it might not. Whereas No Time to Die, as you can see, you're probably already gandered at the headline here. No Time to Die, latest Bond film, needs to make 900 million to break even. Oh, shit. Okay, so many of you might be saying, dude, th these are stupid numbers. Come on now. Let's have some perspective. All right, let's break it down. Let's break it down to, to why they think it's going to be approximately 900 million a plethora of films was hit with delays due to the coup but daniel craig's last run as 007 no time to die was the first major release of 2020 to jump off its launch date well uh, as we discovered yesterday if you uh watch the real bbc with Mola and uh nerd Roddick, uh, we actually looked into it, and it was actually meant to come out November of 2019. Yeah, nearly two years ago. So that's a film that's due for release at that time. Then, of course, you have to figure in that uh, before then, it's doing its editing, it's post-editing, etc. Uh, 2018, they're doing the actual filming. So what footage we're going to see is essentially three years old now possibly some even four years old maybe pushing a little bit into 2017 but at least three years old so you've got a film that was ready to go but then delayed and then the coup hits and it's on an almost perpetual delay uh the film has since been delayed several times until landing on its current release date of the 30th of September for us here in the UK and then October the 8th uh, for the rest of the world, America, etc. Uh, they class it as domestically for America, of course. But all of these delays cost money and it has made No Time to Die's road to profitability a daunting one. According to Company's House... Uh, in the UK, No Time to Die needs to gross $900 million globally just to break even. Due to this, the film now has the distinction of being the most expensive Bond movie ever made. 
as company's house breaks it down no time to die has a budget or came in at a budget of just shy of 200 million pounds so that's going to be approximately uh 265 do uh, million dollars ish give or take to start with that's its initial budget um but due to interest charges that would be on the money that's been loaned to make the film uh it's increased to 214 million pounds which is likely gonna be around 280 285 million dollars scratching at the 300 million dollar mark just for the budget of the movie the production budget of the movie alone wow 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 now a year later that figure has increased again to 226 million pounds so this film is now likely at 300 million 305 million dollars around about that mark for production budget Ooh, or they go 300 million dollars there you go they've they've uh they've kept a track on that you know who knows what's happened to the exchange rate in the last six weeks but there you go so approximately 314 million dollars for production budget once marketing costs are factored in that jumps to around 464 million at a lower end because as you may know uh, marketing and advertising can actually uh, be uh, most people work it out to be the same as the production but what you do in this instance of course you're not factoring in the interest rate on that uh, you want to be uh, figuring it out based off the 200 million so uh i would say add another i personally would say add another uh 260 odd 250 odd million to that so they say 464 at the lower end i'd say realistically we're looking at 550 560 million dollars oh and that's production plus marketing and advertising with interest and insurance i mean they're not saying insurance here but let's just be generous let's just be very generous and say that insurance is incorporated in this as well the 900 million global goal comes into play due to the split between the cinematic exhibitor and the film's distributors with mgm expected to take around 50 percent on every dollar on ticket sales worldwide this is the hidden cost that people don't realize when they look at movies so you know shang chi uh, has a, a good opening weekend which it does way above expected and they're like oh the movie's a success but you then have to figure in exactly how much of that money is going to go uh, to disney and marvel after everyone else has taken their cuts after the production budget after the marketing and advertising so these numbers superficially can be like oh no no this is great but like i said this is why realistically realistically shang chi probably has to hit around five five fifty million just to make its money back just to break even and i don't think it's going to do that certainly in its uh 45 days of the uh box office uh it's going to make some more when it hits streaming services because people are going to be like well i didn't want to go to the cinema for whichever reason uh current day and all of that uh so it's going to hit um x amount of million through that and then it will make money through um dvd blu-ray sales etc but so uh, all in all the film might turn over a, a very small profit but you see these are the hidden costs which just don't get discussed and don't get broken down we just see the superficial dollar that's been taken at the box office this would mean that the movie would have to make at least 928 million dollars worldwide to put smiles on some people's faces 
and we don't even get to cheer until it hits the one billion dollar threshold now <clears throat> this has obviously been quite a a daunting video as regards to what no time to die has to uh make however what i will say is uh bond is a huge franchise it's a huge franchise and uh probably a lot of regular folks they don't follow the news that's been going on around it so things like the lasagna lynch oh i'm a poor segregated black woman bollocks uh, that she was coming out with they won't have heard that they won't have heard all the uh should bond be black gay trans uh disabled uh whammon they, they haven't heard all of that either They've heard none of that. All they've seen is the trailers which they've put out, which, by the way, on the very final trailer, uh, they made sure to uh, to make it as Bond-centric as possible, really reining back Lasagna Lynch uh, and all the other women, which look like they're just going to be dragging uh, Bond around on this merry adventure. So uh, normal people, just regular people, uh, most likely have avoided all of that sort of stuff. So it does have massive franchise power. And I do think it's going to do well in the box office in as much as I do think a lot of people are going to turn out for Daniel Craig's final offering as James Bond. And I think it is going to have a good weekend, certainly on its release. And I do think it's probably going to be relatively strong throughout. I've got a great track record of predictions at box office, by the way. Just FYI. Uh, but <clears throat> whether or not it's going to get anywhere close to 900 million, I think I think it might hit 600, 650, maybe, um, at its time in a box office, maybe pushing 700 at a, at a stretch. But that's still going to be 200 plus million shy of even breaking even, of even breaking even. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> so there is a lot of work to be done for this film to even make uh, a dollar in the black. Um, best of luck. But uh, the way that the uh, the marketing has gone for, for, you know, fans, I don't know if fans are just going to stay away a little bit and see how the uh, the lay of the land goes. Maybe wait for some trusted reviews from some people to come out. Uh, before deciding to go and watch it uh, themselves or you know this could be uh this could be the movie that turns the box office around you know how shang chi did even though it's not even made its money back yet uh this could be the movie that saves the uh cinemas ah oh, who hell knows uh there you go anyway hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links are in the description box down below I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.